Welcome back. This video is a complement for the earlier video. Now, uh, so let's again discuss about that object and reference. Now, just to make your concept more clear, just imagine this example. Now, let's say you want to travel a long distance in train, in maybe mail train. So, if you want to travel for one or two days in a train, of course, you will be booking a ticket in sleeper class and you want to take some, some amount of nap, maybe for five to six hours. Now, to take a nap, of course, you require a pillow, right? Now, you will not take your home pillow to in train and you will carry it to your village. Of course not because it will, it will look weird. So what you will do is you will buy an air pillow. Now just imagine you have an air pillow. But if you want to buy this air pillow when you go to a shop, they will give you a pillow which, which will not have any air. It will be a flat pillow. So in order to use that pillow, we have to blow some air. Now how much air? So let's say that pillow will take around 2 liters of air. Okay, and you have to insert exact amount of air. It's because if you if you insert less air, it will be un, it will be uncomfortable, right? If you put your head here, the air will go on that side. If you blow extra air, it will you know it will blast. So that's that's now how, how you have to blow the pillow, right? So you have to insert exact amount of air. In the same way, if you create this class reference, so let's, let's say we have a obj. In order to use that OBJ, which is a flat pillow now, we need to use a keyword was new. Now this new keyword will, will blow air. Technically it will blow memory. It will give memory to your reference. How much? And that's why we require that constructor there. As I promised, we'll discuss constructor in the next session. Okay, in the in coming sessions. Time being you have to focus on constructor. They will only provide the exact number, exact amount of memory you require. So in order to use this object or reference, we have to instantiate it with the help of new keyword and the constructor. Now people coming from the C++ background, so they have this habit of just mentioning the class name and the reference name. But in Java, we also we have to also instantiate the object using new keyword. So yeah, thanks for watching and to subscribe.